Hey guys, President Bola Metunubu has finally revealed what will happen to bandits terrorizing Nigeria. And this thing when he talk now, don't shock Nigerians. People just they talk left, right and center and all that. Anyway, as we hit the news, you go hear waiting President Bola Met uh, Tunubu talk. President Bola Met Tunubu now he be the current president of Nigeria. Now understand say these bandits has become a very huge problem, you know, to the success of this country. The hey, waiting President Bola Met Tunubu talk now. Uh -huh. Nae, I won't make una here. I beg, make una share this video. Let it go viral. Make Nigerians understand waiting they happen in the Nigerian political landscape. We have to be informed. Security is very important. You understand? Make we there at last at any time. Two four seven. You understand? So this is not just what you go just get on your own. You keep them in all good. Make everybody know waiting they happen. Thank you very much as you do that. But I beg, if today is your first time of, you know, uh, coming here, kindly subscribe, share this video, I beg, like us, okay? And drop your comments below the comment section. President Bola Tinubu has declared that those who threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria will pay a heavy price. The president stressed his administration's commitment to combating banditry and kidnapping on Wednesday when he received in audience a delegation of the pan Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Fina Fere, at the State House in Abuja. He heightened the progress made so far in safeguarding Nigeria territory and sovereignty, noting a, a significant decline in the threat posed by terrorism, according to the Voice of Nigeria. He said the government has degraded terrorism to a level that they could not threaten the sovereignty of this country any longer. Now, President Bola made Tunubu the talk down one. Tunubu said, What we face now are the challenges of terrorism and security of lives and property. There is a need for development and good results, and we have been battling. I can tell you that we are achieving success. It is always hard to defeat economic opportunities that are open up in this type of challenge, particularly when the country is equally challenged economically. So the banditry kidnapping that they have resorted into will also be defeated. We also be defeated, he said, insisting that his administration did not pay any ransom to secure the release of school children adopted from Kuruga School and others. Tunubu said, I decline any ransom, or no payment of ransom whatsoever. We are taking the, the battle to them and we are getting results more rapidly than ever before. The case of Kuruga and others is evident in the way we rescue from uh, Sokoto to Castina, the Kaduna and other now more expeditiously than ever before. We are working hard on intelligence gathering and more on execution of our programs. Those I think can threaten the sovereignty of this country will have themselves to blame. They have the price to pay and we are not going to relent. He said, a solid minerals we are threatening banditry, but assured that the his administration uh, would not would tackle the problem through effective forest guards. Solid minerals that are threatening a lot of insecurity, uh, salvaging and others. We have special forces that are facing that now. We will have effective forest guard that will be fully in control of our forest in the country, President Bola Metinibu said. Well, uh, until we see action, because uh, this is not the first time presidents have come out to say this and that and all that, how they are going to end banditry in Nigeria. But we, these things keep on going. If President Bola Metinibu said they are not going to pay ransom again, I beg, make we just say again, 
make we forget waiting don't happen for night so make we just take and say uh, everything won't happen for night send a mosquito bite if not not be only mosquito now you do the work because nigerians are still asking that question today how did they do one you understand bandits will go school with the mission say this is what they want to get you know, I know say last last they can't see review say this is the particular amount the Nigerian government paid. But to today they are still telling us that no ransom was paid and no bandit was, you know, neutralized in that act. So the old bandit, they just sleep, wake up, God speak to them, say, You see these children wanna carry now today you going to let them go. Boom. They can't say, Oh yeah, make una they go, they go house. So that is what Nigerian president and the uh, Casina State. Uh, government and Cardona state government are trying to tell us that bandits they are now a good soul that they can now kidnap people and return them for free well that one is by the wayside wait it don't happen yesterday don't happen we are talking about today you understand nigerians are hungry because they can no longer go to their farms to farm and uh, if time is not taken <laughs> Some people are not going to drive for street again no, because you have to pay. You understand? So the government have to be serious about this fighting of insecurity in Nigeria. This matter, you know, they come up for. Be careful. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.